It is lots of sunshine out this morning on Canandaigua Lake. A glass of wine with a view of Canandaigua Lake. A perfect Mimosa plan. This morning. Oh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. think this is a good plan for the weekend. I think we should have sent someone there this morning. I think we did, and it wasn't us. <laughs> we didn't get to go. Short straw. <laughs> Hannah Welker is out there. She's at the Finger Lakes Riesling and Craft Beer <coughs> Festival. She's previewing it for us this morning. And uh, she is, oh, look at you. You look so. We have a friend. Yeah, who's your friend? I have a friend. It's Peter Rogers. He's the general manager here. Hey, hey, Peter. He, I was like, you know, you'll never be taken seriously again, Peter. <laughs> I've never been taken seriously, so it's right on track. So this is perfect, right? No, I'm totally kidding. Uh, you know, this is one of the fun things you could do here at the festival this weekend, along with tasting wine, tasting beer, eating some food. Uh, but this morning, we're kind of taking a step back, maybe to the old world way mm -hmm. of making wine. Uh, what's what's in the bucket? Well, we have grapes. The barrel, in the I mean. It's a it's a half barrel. It's an actual wine barrel. Um, and w what we've done is cut it in half to do some grape stomping. Okay. And so, so we just need a volunteer, and I think the person without well, the shoes on should be the volunteer. It happens to be me. Okay, well, all right. Here I go. Oh. <laughs> well, that's an odd feeling. I've never stomped grapes. Should I really actually stomp them like this? Uh, yeah, is this how they do it in Italy? Slowly, methodically, oh. yes. <laughs> Yes. I'm like jumping. Like. I'm like jumping up and down. That can get your skirt stained. Yeah, that's true. I know. It's a good thing I wore a dress. Uh, will people actually be able to do this this weekend? Yeah, this is one of the featured attractions we do is a lot. Have grape stopping going on both Saturday and Sunday uh, right over here uh, at the end of where the wine tents are going to be. Wow. This is kind of fun. Very squishy. I'm glad I didn't wear my shoes. I'm going to hop out, though, because we've got more important things to do, like tasting wine. Uh, this is going to be one of the features this weekend. Riesling, I mean, it's a Riesling festival, so it makes sense that that's what we're going to be tasting. But there, Trisha, there are going to be a lot of other types of wines to taste as well. Absolutely. Riesling is the wine that put us on the world scale map. People know that this is the thing that we make. Um, as well as anybody, and better than a lot, frankly, <laughs> in our very cold climate. But there are other grapes that grow here beautifully as well. Um, we'll see Chardonnays, we'll see some Pinot Noir, hopefully some Dry Rosé, if you haven't caught on to that yet. Um, this may be a turning point in your life. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you're one of the, you're the director of beverages and you're also a winemaker in the Finger Lakes. Uh, you got a really rough life. It's honestly. really pretty awful. I'm either making wine or talking <laughs> about wine and I feel bad for me. I know, both of you, dream jobs. Uh, talk, to, talk to us about what you have here this morning. So we have a collection of Rieslings here. Um, we're looking at the wines. These ones are made by Heron Hill. And what they have done is an, a very interesting project where they went to several of the different lakes and made a Riesling featuring only the grapes from that lake so that you could get an idea of what the grapes looked like, at least in this year, on that lake um, in the hands of this winemaker. Okay, so what, what sets these apart? I'm gonna taste, I'm gonna taste this one. The unique thing about those wines is, so yes, they have uh, they have grapes themselves on Canandaigua and Cuca Lake, and then they have farmers on Seneca, Cayuga, and Skinny Atlas Lakes. So this is a signature series that they've come out with uh, to show the terroir or what the soils can bring to the different grapes. So you have the same grapes by the same winemaker in the same facilities, it's just the grapes came from different uh, areas, and instead of blending them all together, making one batch of Riesling, they kept them separate. So they're called single vineyard releases. Wow, those are really light too. They're I mean, very light. they're very, very light. Light, delicate, and you can see each bottle is labeled with the with the particular lake that's featured in that photo. Wow, look Isn't how cute that, that is. Yeah, and here in Hill, not far from here. Not far from here. <laughs> um, so people will be able to explain the tasting process mm -hmm. at the festival. You know. How much will people be able to get, and and why do you encourage them to come out for it? Well, I think that people either think that um, Riesling is their very favorite wine, and they want to come out, and that's wonderful. And some people think that, boy, I had Riesling a long time ago, and I didn't really like it because Riesling is sweet. And there are wonderful sweet Rieslings being made today, but they're also being made in myriad styles, bone dry gossamer almost austere wines all the way up to rich voluptuous dessert wines right yeah that wasn't overpowering because you do think of some sweet fruity tasting wines and that was not overpowering that's not one of them yeah yeah well thank you peter thank you i'm gonna throw you in that
barrel over there and make you grape stomp next. I'll be with it all weekend. <laughs> all weekend. You'll see him sometime this weekend. Uh, when we come back, we'll be trying some of the craft beers and then some of the bites of uh, food you could get if you come out this weekend. And alcohol, I'm thinking you need to have some food. I, I you know. <laughs> Good thing she has a driver. I was going to, exactly. <laughs> a designated driver this morning. Hannah, thank you so very much. And all of that looks so delicious, though, it especially. Does. You know, uh, a nice crisp glass, like looking out at the mm -hmm, water. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a good. It's the day. time of year that Riesling. Yeah. If I'm going to drink wine. It's a Riesling. It's a Riesling. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, when we come back, it's been it's cool, kind of a cool few days recently. It is. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not complaining. You like it? I don't have a pool though, so <laughs> <laughs> when the warm days are around. Yeah. I'm, I'm a little warm, but meteorologist <laughs> Kaylee went will show us when some warmer days will come. Knows her way around.